In this video, we're going to put together this circuit. I'm going to do a step-by-step -step build. This circuit has a programmable unit junction transistor, which is this symbol here. And the part number is 2N6027. So now, the programmable unit junction transistor, it looks like a regular transistor, but the uh, pins here, when you look at the front end, the one on the left here, that's the anode, the middle pin is the gate, and the other pin is the cathode. So this is like a diode. It has an anode and a cathode. The schematic symbol even looks like that. But this has four layers of semiconductor material, whereas a transistor usually has three, a diode usually has two. So it's actually a quite separate component. It's not really even a transistor, even though that's in the name. So our first step, we're going to take this 15 kilo ohm resistor here, put it to the gate from the positive side, and then on the negative side, we have a 51 kilo ohm resistor to the gate. So this is a, a voltage divider. This will set the voltage to the gate, and that is how we program this component. And here, you should be able to see, I have both resistors going to the middle pin. That is the gate of the programmable unit junction transistor. So now, I have a potentiometer up here, a trim pod actually, and I'm going to use that to set the voltage to the anode. And I'm going to put a protective resistor between them, 470 ohms, to make sure that uh, I never have too much current coming through the anode. So here you can see the trim pot comes from the positive side. And then the other side of the trim pot comes around to the negative side of the power source. So that's how we will set our other voltage. And now on the cathode side, we're going to have our output. So we got a protective resistor here and an LED going back to ground. So I took the trim pot, I got my positive connection and my negative. Both rails are connected here, and then the protective resistor for when I set the voltage all the way to positive, make sure there's resistance. That comes to this top pin there of the programmable unit junction transistor, the anode. And then the output is down here. And so I'll put a resistor there and the uh, LED, and then we'll be done. Alright, so now we have the protective resistor to our cathode, our output, to the LED, long lead on top, short lead on bottom here, short lead goes to ground so that it will conduct. And that finishes our wiring. So now, to uh, make this circuit work, I do have the power applied, positive on this side, negative on the other, even though you can't see it. But right now, the arrow to this trim pot is pointed towards the ground here and so that's holding this at about zero volts zero volts applied to this resistor which comes this way so I'm gonna turn it up and now you notice that the LED turned on so we're turned to about about there so it's about three-fourths or two-thirds of the way up and now when I turn it down so it's probably about about six volts in that area maybe seven somewhere around there and now we turn it down and the LED turns off and so when the voltage of this potentiometer through the resistor reaches about the same voltage as the two resistors are set then it will turn on but when you lower it below the voltage of these two resistors, then it will turn off. Okay, so now that I demonstrated that, what I did was these two resistors here, which go to the gate, 
Now, I took this 51 kilo ohm resistor, put it up here. I took this 15 kilo ohm resistor and put it down there. So, if you remember last time, this resistor is lower than uh, this one. So that will give it more than half the voltage, which uh, should be somewhere around 6, six or 7 volts. So, something like that. I don't know the exact number. But uh, if I put this resistor down here and that one up there, then it will bring it closer to ground. The lower voltage will, or the lower resistor will be here. And so it should be uh, probably around 2 or 3 volts. So we'll look at that next. So now, up close, remember we switched the resistors from uh, last time so that they're in opposite order. And now we're at zero volts and about somewhere around three volts or so, three fourths of the power supply down here. Now the LED comes on until we close, turn it down. So the voltage we set at the gate determines the voltage that the anode needs before the cathode will start conducting. And that's how this component works. 